Okay, so my first resource that I really like to use is called Google Docs. Um, you do have to have a Gmail account for this. So I actually have two Gmail accounts. I have a personal one and then I have my business email. Um, but as long as you have a Gmail account, you can use any of the Google services. Um, so I use Google Docs to write up my own patterns. Sometimes like this one, this is not mine. Um, I had someone else that I'd won a contest and it was a free pattern. So this is how she shared it with me. But um, as you can see, I have various different patterns in here. Here's my hat, here's my headband, here's some barefoot sandals. Um, here's one version of a top that I have yet to publish that I've had written for over a year. Um, here's another version of it. Um, and then I've got, here's my newest market bag pattern that I did. And here is um, a pattern I'm in the process of designing, but have kind of stepped away from because I have a couple orders. But for this, um, to use Google Docs, all you really need to do is you'll hit blank, or if you have a template you want to use. Um, I don't currently have a template, so I'd like to design one. Um, but up in the top left corner where it says Untitled Document, you can change it to whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to put crochet pattern. Um, and then on the doc itself, you have all these different tools along the top. So read, undo and redo, print, Spell check, which Google does not like abbreviations for crochet, but that's okay. Um, paint format, I don't use this. Normal text, so you can title, heading, subtitle. So you can pick that. Here's all the fonts. Uh, I only use Google Docs when I'm writing up the bare bones of my pattern. Um, I don't publish it this through this form anymore. I have a different format I use. So when I'm typing it up, I usually just use Arial or Times New Roman or Calibri. Um, it doesn't really matter. And I usually just keep my font size at 11, though it changes when I do my official, like, pattern write-up. And then bold, usually good to use sometimes, italic, underline. Um, you can change where you want your text to align, so left, to center, right, justify, all this fun stuff. But um, the way I usually start it, I'll title my pattern, so for now I'm just going to put crochet pattern, um, because that's all I really have. Make sure you have your cursor on there. Um, the next thing I do is I usually make a material section so that I can keep track of what I'm using right away. So um, for like one of the crop top patterns I currently have going, I've been using a three and a half millimeter hook, three weight or DK yarn. Um, I usually use cotton yarn, so I'm just gonna put cotton on here. Um, and then I'll add in the obvious like yarn needle, scissors, measuring tape. Um, I always suggest using a measuring tape because I do give general sizes, but it's good to be able to know if your gauge is on point or not. Um, so usually that's what my material section looks like. And then I do a section of stitch abbreviations for myself or, I, or just the stitches, but usually so like I always use chains, single crochet, double, Double crochet, I think I'm using in that one. Might have H, a half double crochet. So I try to do them in order of the smallest to biggest because I copy and paste a lot of stuff from this document onto the final document. Um, but then I just, I put pattern and, well, I'll put gauge in here if it's important. Um, sometimes gauge is important for my stuff, sometimes not. It kind of depends. Um, and I don't usually put sizing in this. I figure it out for the final document a little more because I do this to write down my own size. And then I figure out what multiple I need it in so I can adjust things appropriately for other sizes. Um, but yeah, so sometimes it just really depends. But I do like working in Google Docs. I can access it literally anywhere. I have a Google Docs app on my phone, on my iPad. I use it on my computer, but I can access it from like any computer or iPad if I really need to. Um, I have sometimes worked on stuff on my boyfriend's phone because my phone was dead or I didn't have my laptop or something. So Google Docs is great for this. I love that it syncs across all devices when you need it to. So there's my introduction to Google Docs. It is the Google version of Microsoft Word. Um, it's free to use. I love it.
for writing up things. I can even link stuff if I need to, but I rarely do. Um, but be on the lookout for the next video, which is going to be an introduction to Google Slides. See ya.